Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming on back and thank you for helping support my channel and helping it grow. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you haven't checked it out yet or you've only seen a little bit, uh, welcome and thank you for coming and checking it out. Um, if you feel so led and you enjoy the channel or this video and find it informational or educational or entertaining or all the above um, and you feel so led, please uh, give me a thumbs up and a comment. Uh, maybe subscribe if you really liked it. Um, if you do subscribe, let me know in the comments so I can give you a personal thing. Thank you, because um, I will greatly appreciate it. Uh, I really like to see my channel grow, and uh, I can't do that without you guys. So anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. I released a video last Friday, I believe, on streamlining the process for pushing um, changes and modified files to your Git repositories, and I had a comment. Uh, somebody asked if I would show how to do a Git bear repository. So what we're going to do in this video real quick is I'm actually going to set up another Git bear repository for my system um, and you guys can just follow along and um, change what you need to change based on um, directory name or whatever you're going to do. But um, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, so basically I'm going to go with this assumption that you guys already have a GitLab account or a GitHub account and you have your SSH tokens all set up so you can actually push to um, push to your accounts. Um, if you don't, go ahead and get that set up and then restart this video and you can check it out. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with the assumption that you already have that all set up right now. So basically first thing we're going to want to do is I'm on my GitLab page here in uh, the Brave browser. I'm going to click on new project. Once I click on new project, it's going to bring up another page and I'm going to click on create a blank project. I'm going to name it and I'm going to name mine window managers. And then down here in the description, you don't have to have a description, but again, I'm, I'm going to add one. Um, so collection of window manager can configs. So this is just going to tell everybody that this is a collection of my window manager configs. Um, you can leave it to private if you don't want anybody else to be able to access it, um, or you can make it public. Anything I do um, on my system that is on video, and even some some of the stuff that's not on video, you are free to use. Um, I create it, I use it. If you think you can use it and it'll help you out, please feel free to use it. So I'm going to make mine public, and I am not going to initialize the repository with a readme. You can always go back behind and later on add a readme. I choose not to initialize it with a readme though. And we're going to go ahead and create a project. And once that is done, it's going to bring up this page. I am not going to do anything else on the GitLab website. So basically, I am going to switch over to a different workspace. If you are on a desktop environment, you can minimize the browser window. Um, but we're going to be doing everything else from here on out in the terminal. So let's go ahead and launch into a terminal. I'm going to bring up Alacrity, which is my terminal. We're going to clear the screen here. And I'll zoom in a bit. And basically, first thing we need to do is I just made this repo called window managers so in my terminal I want to make sure I'm in my home directory which we can see here the little tilde I'm in my home directory we can also do PWD that's gonna show me I'm in home Jake but I want to be in my home directory and I'm going to make a directory called window managers so I have now created this directory window managers it's got the same name as my repo I just made now I have a directory on my system with that same name. So once I do that, I'm going to CD into the window managers that I just created. So now we can look over here. You can see you're in uh, uh, the window man managers directory. Um, again, you want to name this whatever you named your repo, not window managers, unless you used window managers. But you want to create this directory and name it the same thing as your created directory here. So once we're in there and we've cd'd into that directory, we need to do a git init. And we're going to do dat space dash dash bear and then home slash window managers. So you're going to want to do whatever you named your repo here, obviously. So we're going to do git init space dash dash bear space home slash minus window managers you're gonna put whatever you named your directory right here we're gonna hit enter and you can see here I have now initialized this directory and this repository and it is now a bare repository so next what we need to do is we need to create an alias now I'm saying we need to create an alias because when you normally do a, a push to a repo, when you add files and um, commit files, it's git add, git commit, git push. Well, the bare repository works a little bit different, so we're going to need to create an alias. So 
If you're using Bash, you need to go into your Bash RC if you or into wherever your aliases are stored for your Bash RC if you use a separate file. But you need to go in and wherever you keep your aliases, Bash RC, .zshrc. I keep mine in a um, in a um, file in my .config, .zsh, and then aliases. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in here. And oops, I went down a little too far. So I've got aliases, and you're gonna want to find like here's all my Git aliases right here. So I have a, I already have a bare repository for my dot files. So that's right there. So basically, you can see this command right here, this long command for this alias. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create another alias, and we're basically gonna copy this one, but we're gonna change from dot files to our current one. So we're gonna do alias and my my uh, new alias is going to be wm so wm equals and then we're going to do slash user slash bin slash git space dash dash git dash dir equals and then it's going to be home slash window managers slash and then we're going to do space dash dash work dash tree equals home and then we're gonna finish it off. So again, you're gonna create your alias, whatever you want your alias to be, and then that alias is going to be uh, in double quotes, slash user, slash bin, slash git, space, dash, dash, git, dash, dir, equals home, slash, whatever you named your repo. Again, I named mine window managers, but you need to put whatever you named your repo here, and then slash, and then do space, dash, dash, work, dash, tree, equals, the home directory. So that being said, we're going to exit out of there, we're going to write and quit, we're going to quit out of Ranger, and now what you need to do is you need to restart your um, your terminal session. So you can either close out of it completely, that's what I'm going to do, or you can just type in ZSH or bash or whatever and restart it, but I'm going to close out, we're going to reopen it, and let's zoom in a bit. And let's check my window manager, my WM alias should now take place. So let's do WM, and yep, we can see that it is uh, colored to be a actual working alias now. So, now, that being said, what you're going to want to do is you want to do WM, and then you want to do config, and then you're going to want, let me see here, this one I always, I always kind of forget this, so I know I, it'll show up if I do config config okay so basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do your new alias right here that you just created space config space dash dash local space status dot show untracked files no and make sure untracked and files show untracked files is one word and the U and the F are capitalized I believe that's called camel case or whatever but um so basically what I want this to do is I want it to be wm config because that's the alias I just made config equals local status dot show untracked files no and what this is going to do is being a bare repository you can push anything on your system from anywhere on your system into this repo and so if we ever modify changes or change things and we hit get status it's going to show us everything on that system so we don't want to see the files that we're not trying to track so this is going to make it so it just it doesn't show us all those files so go ahead and hit that and we're good to go so that being said that's all there is to it so now what we can do is um, you see I'm still in my home directory. If I do an LSLA, this is going to show everything in my directory here. Um, and we're in window managers. I created one for window managers. So let's see here. I've got .spectrewindowmanager.conf. So let's push this into our new, into my new repo. So what we can do is let's clear the screen. And if I do wm add .spectrewm.conf hit enter and then I do wm commit dash m and we say adding specter wm and we hit enter now it shows we have one file changed We've, we're adding the specter wm and now we are going to 
wm push and then you're going to enter your get information H or i'm going to do uh git at gitlab.com jpid window managers dot git so basically this is going to push it to that it's going to take a second because i'm working on a uh, there we go so now if we go back into here this one we just created and i refresh this what we can see is I have now successfully created the window managers and I have pushed to that um, I have pushed my specter window manager .conf config file into that repo so again nice and easy not too hard you basically go in create a new project name your new project make it public or private whichever you want do not initialize with a readme um, you can always add a readme later but I always recommend don't initialize with a readme some people will tell you to do it you know you can do whatever you want to do my recommendation is don't do it but um, it's just for me it's just easier without doing it so then you're gonna want to initialize, is create the new directory or create the new repo once you've done all that just hit create repo and at that point you're done on the website you could even just close it out but then you're gonna go into the terminal you're gonna create that new directory that's named whatever your repo was. Once you've created that directory, obviously CD into it. Once you CD into it, you do the git init dash dash bear and then home the name of the repo. And then you want to create your alias. Once you create your alias, you do the um, uh, the config to not show untracked files and once you're done you're done you can start pushing to it I'm gonna have all these commands I'll write them all up in the description so you can uh, you can have them to look back on but um, they'll all be in there but yeah hopefully uh, this helps you and you can uh, get going on this and hopefully this is uh, what you're looking for so yeah if you like this video again uh, give me a thumbs up uh, shoot me a comment let me know um, if you're not a subscriber yet please do me a favor and subscribe and uh, help my channel grow I really do appreciate it and all this stuff I do like I said you're welcome to use um, if you see something in my video and it's not on my repo yet just keep keep checking every few days or so um, stuff will stuff will be going on there I erased a couple repos and I'm just kind of in the process of redoing some stuff but um, pretty much anything I do um, unless it's for my server and stuff like that but pretty much everything I do um, you're welcome to use so yeah um, hope you guys have a great day God bless